Hello, hello, hello. I've got the right t-shirt on. I've got the right t-shirt on. We was talking about this on the live stream last night. The 50th anniversary super deluxe edition of The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway by Genesis. The rumours were they were going to make the announcement on Friday, but they've um, they've shot their bolt. They've done it today. They've announced it today. And it's all the pre-order links are already out there if you go to the official Genesis store you have all the all the product for your delight delectation um, including hoodies and some new t-shirts as well nice nice might get myself some new t-shirts um, but you want to know what is on the item yeah there are two editions there's the four CD blu-ray edition and the six LP edition uh, yeah. Oh, and that was the oops, that was the artwork. Uh, there, it's the again. It's just a, a composite of the um, of the panels of the of the original album. They've done a like I say composite image. Um, yeah, again, what we've got here, it's like uh, uh, it's uh, <laughs> that's my opinion of it. Uh, why is it uh, well of course you've got the album itself which is is good but they've reissued the Shrine Auditorium concert from 1975 from January 1975 now we've already heard this on the archive I'm, I'm pointing over there because that's where I keep my I'll just go and get it laughter On this, who remembers this? Who remembers this? I bet I don't. Hello, what do you want? Who remembers? Who remembers that? Oh, I love this back in the day. I love. I love this back in the day. Let's see, I've even got the. Uh, I've even got the, uh, got the original sticker and security tag. So there we go. Um, oh, what else is lurking in here? Oh. <laughs> it's that thing where you you. Darren has secreted all manner of goodies inside. So we got we got that. We've got the original. So that was that was on the back of the thing. Still preserved. I can choke that out really. Um, but there's some other stuff in it. There's some, there's some ephemera from the time. What have we got? This is from Friday the 26th of June 1998. And uh, Remember this lot? Wow, there's an article. Uh, Mark Radcliffe wrote that one. You might remember him. He's a DJ and and whatnot. And uh, what? oh, look, an original advert from the time. Look, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I was very excited. I was very excited by it back then. Um, so yeah, so we've already had this the Shrine Auditorium stuff on here so that's uh that's a thing oh, i thought I'd, i thought you'd at least keep the receipt down why don't you keep the receipt um oh, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute he said there's also there's also this lovely little little demo one love this little promo missus got me this from the music and video exchange up in uh, up in Camden nine quid nine quid a bargain a bargain <laughs> back in the day uh, unfortunately the original receipt is just completely whitewashed now can't see it but yeah this has all the highlights of it anyway I've got completely off topic <laughs> I'm just too busy showing my collection um, so yeah we've got the Shrine Auditorium um, gig again however they do say this time they've got all the tapes they got all the tapes, so you've got the the um, encores, which is which is nice, I suppose, if you want the encores, which is um, Water of the Skies and Musical Box. I don't know if they I don't know if there'll be a new mix of that. Again, it's a bit scant on the actual the actual details here. 
Um, it includes a two-sided 11 by 17 inch poster replicating the original promo poster back with visuals including the 50th anniversary super deluxe edition that's very very nice um so what else do we get we get the we get the album which has been remastered by mount Mon oh oh missus has just took money out of the bank account i don't like that uh, the album has been remastered by miles shoal at abbey road from the, analog, the 1974 analog tapes, so you're not getting, you're not getting the 2007 mix. So that'll be that make people very happy. See, I've got to buy this on vinyl because I've got the 2007 mix on vinyl, so I have to buy this as well. Oh God, it's going to cost me so much money. Send money now. Send money now. YouTube isn't paying. So you've got that. You've got the Shrine Auditorium, which has the extra tra tracks on the end. Um, on the Blu-ray, we've got the, a Dolby Atmos mix, which has been overseen by Peter Gabriel and Tony Banks, done at Real World Studios, um, which is interesting. Well, I think that's interesting. It's good to see Gabriel's got his hand on this. Um, there's a download card, which will include you'll be able, you'll be able to download demos, which again I think have been in circulation for a while. Um, from, that's from the Headley Grain sessions and high resolution downloads of the entire thing so that that's good you get a 1975 tour program you know reproduced a replica ticket the usual ephemera poster a 60 page coffee table book which has loads of pictures again some of the pictures from uh, that book i showed you will be featured in that but that'd be nice and you've got liner notes written by um guardian journo Ale alexis Petridis. again he's not really contemporaneous of the release, so I'd, I'd have preferred it to have been an old journo of the time, who may have covered it. But it's an it's new 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 eyes, I suppose. I'd like to have heard somebody who was there at the time talking about its impact and what people thought of it. I don't know. Maybe we'll get some of that in that. Um, so yeah, it's it's it. And as for the um, the Headley Grange demos, you get a download card which. Lets you download the Landlines Down on Broadway, Final Windshield demo, Chamber 32 Doors, Lamia demo, and In the Cage, Strange Vocals, take one. Um, again, it's like you've got that. The LP is very much the same. Oh, sorry, it's 5LP, not 6LP. I don't know where I've got 6LP from. And um, that's got a purple box. I don't know. It's going to be nice. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's it is what it is. Is it is it is it perfect? I don't know. It's good because it still keeps the value of those old SACDs because those mixes are still like preserved. And it will be interesting to see what's on the Blu-ray. If it's just straight Blu-ray audio, there won't be any images. Because again, if you if you've seen or heard the DVD. Um, surround sound version of the Lamb that was released in 2008-ish. Um, it came with the slides. It played the slides from the from the gigs in the background. It's it's brilliant. It's really nicely done, and so you know you can you can feel some of the narrative playing played out in front of you. And if you haven't got that with this, then you know you're kind of missing something. I hope that they do something more because that could be expanded upon. You know, there could be more like images, imagery from the actual gig, superimposed and edited to make it a bit more dynamic. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't. Th I think they said it's backed by some images. <laughs> it's just like okay, they didn't actually crow that it was those slides. So yeah, I mean, it's good that we're getting something. Kind of, again, it's a bit like the live one that they brought out the BBC, the BBC live material. You know, it's good, but it could be better. It's I don't even know if this is good. I think this is okay, but it could be better. It could be good. Um, I'm going to buy it because I really it's one of my favourite albums. It's the first album that got me into Genesis. It's very expensive though. I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna bite my tongue. I'm gonna bite my boulder it like that. It's so expensive. So again, if you want both, you're looking at just shy of three hundred quid. It's like, <clears throat> you know, it's just 
It's not, it's not right. But I've got time to save up for it. March the 28th is the release date. Again, I mentioned all this on the live stream. You can go back. Everything I said on the live stream came to pass. Came to pass. So, you know, that was that. But yeah, so it's here now. And you can go and get it at the Genesis shop. If there are any links on Amazon, I'll put those in the, in the doodad. And you can order it from Amazon and give me a shiny penny. But I don't think they'll be active. I'm going to have a little look. I'm going to, I'm going to do this on the hoof and see if Amazon have got it up. It'd be amazing if they have because Amazon's kind of gone off the boil for music releases. Uh, no sign of it on Amazon yet. No. No, that's a shame. It would be nice to. Uh, it would be nice to to have that but oh no wait a minute wait a wait a minute they do have they do have it but it's marked as unavailable but I will link to this page you never know it might become active <laughs> I will link to that um, so yeah hopefully let's put you in the in the loop as it were What do you think? How, tell me how disappointed you are in the comment box below. Because, come on, you're going to be a little bit disappointed, aren't you? Um, again, they could have done more. In, they could have done a whole interview about it, proper interview, you know, or at least maybe re-edited re the John Ed Edgington footage. They could have done something, just a little bit more. Oh, but then I always want just a little bit. You know me. I just always want. I want a little bit more. More, I say, more. But you know, it is what it is. So yeah, that's the details. That's the fiftieth anniversary super deluxe edition of the Lamb Lies Down. I think that's the face, isn't it? That's the thumbnail. <laughs> I should superimpose the box sets in my hands as I'm doing this. Yeah, that's the thumbnail. Thank you for watching. There's only one more thing you have to say, and by now you know what that is. That is program.